this is the course that uh, I've been uh, editing, uh, Debian EDU uh, training. Uh, if I want to hide uh, a feature, for example, let's go to the resources. Uh, if I want to hide this resource, then first of all, uh, this edit mode should be enabled. And uh, then on the menu of options, I can click on hide. And then this Debian EDU manual, HTML version will be hidden from the students. How uh, can I check as a teacher uh, what the students are seeing or what is the view of the students from, from how it looks from the student's point of view? Uh, here at this menu, there is an option switch role to. And uh, I can switch the role to a student and it will show me the course, uh, the way that uh, the students uh, view it. Let's go to the resources, for example, and I have the PDF manual, but uh, I don't see the HTML uh, manual. Uh, to switch back on the menu, return, return to my normal uh, role, which is teacher. And enable edit again. and show show this resource some other items in this menu are for example duplicate uh, if two resources are quite similar to each other instead of creating the second one from scratch we can clone the first one and just make small uh, modifications to it for example suppose that i want to add a german uh, version of the Debian EDU manual. Uh, I cloned the English uh, resource and I go to edit settings and uh, on the title I add the DE and on the URL I change this uh, to DE and just save. And now we have this uh, new resource. If I click this one, then it will open the uh, German version of the uh, Debian EDU manual. Now, uh, to delete a resource from the menu, just delete. So, uh, but these two were quite easy and quick. Uh, now let, let, uh, let's move to the uh, quiz. Uh, uh, quizzes are used to reinforce uh, knowledge or to, uh, to evaluate the, the students. Uh, maybe in the kind of courses that uh, we do for Debian uh, Academy, uh, maybe we, we don't need quizzes, but anyway, it doesn't work. It, it doesn't hurt to uh, learn how to how to build them. First of all, let me delete this one because it is empty. Uh, we can have a, a quiz for each topic, for example, or we can have a topic and then uh, include all the quizzes in this topic. It depends on how we organize the course. Uh, I'm adding a topic for the quizzes and uh, I'm changing the title of the topic. And uh, now this is an, an empty topic. It does not have any uh, activities or resources. Uh, I'm going to add an activity uh, now. And uh, the activity is going to be this one, quiz. So the quiz activity enables a teacher to create quizzes, etc. Uh, now we are at the settings uh, of the quiz. Of the quiz, uh, the name of the quiz. I'm keeping it simple. The description. Timing. If I enable timing, then the quiz will be open 
only in this uh, from from this date up to this date. Or if I enable the end date, then it will be closed on this date. It will be open up to this date. Or if I uh, enable the start only the start date, it will be open since, uh, from this date on. Uh, but in this case, I want to, to be open all the time. If I don't choose the start and close date and open and close date for the tweets, then it will be open all the time. Time limit, how much time the students can spend uh, with the questions of the, of the quiz. If enabled, the time limit is started on the initial quiz pay page and uh, a countdown down timer is displayed in the navigation block. Uh, for example, I can say, uh, 20 minutes, but actually uh, I, I don't want a uh, time limit so that the students can, can spend as much time as they want with, with the quiz. When time expires, open attempts are submitted automatically. Uh, there is a grace period when, uh, uh, when open attempts, attempts can be submitted. Uh, at the, up, Attempts must be submitted before time expires or they are not uh, counted. Now, since we are not setting a time limit, this, settings, this setting doesn't make sense. But if there is a time limit, then uh, open attempts uh, are submitted is the most uh, reasonable one, I think. So if the students have, man and have managed to solve half of the questions, then uh, the quiz will be submitted automatically and they will not lose their work. Great. Attempts allowed. We can make it uh, just one attempt or two or three attempts or uh, unlimited. They can they can attempt the quiz as much uh, as many times as, as they want. Uh, grading methods. If there are multiple attempts, then uh, which grade do we keep? Uh, we can keep the highest grades. So let's say that he tried it three times and uh, the second uh, attempt. Uh, in the second attempt, he got the most points. Then uh, the overall point, points from the quiz will be from the from second attempt. Or it can be the average of the three attempts, or it can be just the first attempt or the, or the last at attempt. Layout. Uh, now we can have a new page for each question for each question or we can uh, include two questions in one page or three questions in one page and, and so on uh, if a quiz is large then uh, it is better to uh, to split it in several pages for example i usually uh, put a question in uh, every page if the quiz is uh, small for example it has just five questions we can uh, we can include all the uh, all the questions uh, on one page. Navigation method. Uh, if, if there are several pages, then uh, we can go to these pages either sequentially or uh, uh, free. Uh, we can choose uh, each question independently. So uh, I can go from the first question to the last one and then come back to the second question and so on if uh, there is a free navigation method. If uh, the navigation method is sequential, then from the first question, I have to go to the second question and so on until, to, until the, the last one. Question be behavior, uh, shuffle within uh, questions. Yes. Uh, if there are multiple question, uh, multiple choice questions, then uh, each time that the question is displayed to one user or to another, or if uh, the user attempts the quiz a second time uh, for the second for, for the same question, then the order of the options will be changed. So if the right if the uh, in the first attempt, in the second attempt, the correct answer might be displayed in the second place uh, because the, uh, the, the options are shuffled. How questions uh, behave. We have these options, deferred feedback, uh, immediate interactive with, uh, with multiple tries. Uh, 
this is about uh, displaying the correct the correct answer. Uh, deferred feedback means that uh, the student will get the correct answer after answering all the questions and submitting the quiz. So he uh, he is uh, finishing first the quiz and uh, submits it, and then he checks he checks uh, the correct answers, uh, which one he got right, uh, which ones he got wrong, and so on. This is the deferred feedback. Interactive with multiple tries, uh, immediate feedback. Immediate feedback is that for, e for each question, uh, once he submits the answer for this question, then he will get uh, whether uh, his answer is correct or not. Uh, and uh, maybe what, what is the correct answer? So uh, I'm, I'm selecting this immediate feedback for the time being. You are currently the only person in this conference. And uh, allow redo within an attempt uh, means means that uh, he can try a question several times inside an attempt. So he can try it uh, the first time he gets it wrong. For example, he can try it a second time. He has a chance to, to try it uh, more than more than once. Yes, pro provide the option to try another time. Each attempt build, uh, builds on the last. So, uh, if we make a second attempt, then uh, we will uh, we will see the choices that we have made on the first uh, attempt, and uh, we can we can correct uh, those ones. So we we are not going to start from the scratch. If we answered uh, five questions from from ten, then on the second attempt, uh, questions will uh, have our answers, and we will continue to work on on the on the other. Uh, uh, questions, for example, or we can correct the answers of the questions that we have already answered. Review options. Uh, now, the review options are uh, the attempt whether the question is correct or not. If we check this one, then uh, Moodle will. Uh, will give us feedback uh, the correct answer as well uh, the marks specific feedback etc so uh, this set of this set of, of options are uh, during the the attempt and uh, also there is a similar set of options immediately after the after the attempt and uh, also later, while the quiz is open, we can also check what are the uh, answers that we gave, what, what are the correct answers, uh, wh what is the mark that we got for each question, and so on. But after quiz is closed, then uh, these, are, these are disabled. Actually, uh, I, I, I had to uh, make some testing and uh, to, to get this, these options right. And also, if you if you try a quiz, then you you have to try these options to understand them uh, correctly. Safe exam browser it required the use of safe exam browser. The safe uh, exam browser uh, does not allow the student to visit other pages uh, in the internet, uh, for example. Uh, in this case, it is disabled. No. Extra restrictions on attempts. Uh, maybe we can set a password uh, to access the the quiz, so that uh, only the students that that know the password uh, can attempt a quiz. And uh, also, we can restrict uh, by uh, network address, or uh, we can make some other restrictions. For example. Uh, between the first and the second attempt, uh, we uh, we add a delay. For example, five minutes uh, or or thirty minutes or or something. Uh, 
So uh, let's let's create this uh, quiz. Save and return to to course. Now we have created this quiz one. Let's go and see it. This is the description of the quiz, the first quiz, and this is the name of the of the title. Uh, but uh, we see that the quiz is empty already. There is no, there are no questions on it. Uh, we can click this one, uh, add question, or we can go to questions and uh, click this one, uh, add a new question, add from question bar, uh, from question bar, uh, or add a random quest question. Uh, let's add uh, a new question. Now we see that there are several uh, question uh, types. Multiple choice, true, false, uh, matching, short answer, numerical, essay, calculated, uh, calculated, multi-choice, and so on. Mostly I use uh, this uh, multiple choice and uh, true, false in my uh, quizzes. Let's say that we are making a multiple choice uh, question. The question has a category in uh, the question bank. Uh, question question name. Uh, for questions, let's uh, uh, let's use some examples from another quiz that I have built about the Linux commands. For example, uh, let's try to add this question. Uh, the, this is the question description. But uh, I usually use the description for the question name as well. So the question name usually is uh, the same as the uh, des description. And so uh, we are adding uh, a question name and a question text or a qu question description. What what is the question? And uh, the the default mark uh, is one one point. For example, if the student gets it right, he will get uh, one point. And uh, here are the answers or the choices: choice one, choice two choice three, choice four, choice five, and uh, we can add more choices if, uh, if needed. Uh, now for choice one, So the question is, uh, which command displays only the first uh, five lines of the file file? And uh, and uh, I think that this is not uh, the correct. So the gra the grade is uh, none. He will get no points if he selects this uh, uh, this answer. And uh, the second choice. The third choice. The fourth one. And the last one. Now, uh, we have to see what is the the right answer. Uh, right answer. Uh, I guess this one is the the right answer for for this question. And uh, so we are giving 100% of the grade for this answer. If the student selects this answer, then then he will get uh, all the points of, of this question. And the points of this question are. Uh, 
ですね。Okay. So, uh, the number of choices, we, we have these options for the number of choices. Uh, this is the default one. Show standard in, uh, instructions. One or, or multiple answers. Uh, we can allow multiple answers as well. Uh, but in this case, only one answer is correct. In case that we have, uh, if in case that we allow multiple answers and there are two uh, correct answers, then we can give 50% uh, to each of the correct answer. So that uh, if the student selects both of them, then he will get 100% of the points from this, from this uh, question. But in this case, it is only one answer allowed. And uh, shuffle, shuffle the choices. Each time that this uh, question is presented, then the order of the options will be different, uh, will be uh, actually random. And uh, this prevents, for example, cheating or uh, if the students, uh, if the student uh, tries, tries multiple attempts, uh, and we show them the correct answer, then he may uh, try to remember that the first uh, option for this question was the correct one. But uh, if, the, if the options are uh, shuffled, then uh, this will not be the correct one. This most probably will not be the correct one. So it, it, prevent, it, it prevents uh, cheating. So, multiple tries. Uh, if this question is tried multiple times, then we can add some uh, penalty. Uh, so if the, if the first attempt was wrong, then uh, he will lose 33% uh, of the of the points. If the second attempt is wrong as well, he will lose another 33% uh, and so on. And we can also uh, add some hints. changes and now we have a quiz that has only uh, one question and uh, this is the number of points that uh, the student will get from from this question if uh, we want to set for example five points then if he gets this one right he will get five points but usually i give one uh, point for each uh, question uh, So let's go to the quiz again. And now we have this uh, preview quiz. Let, let's try to make a quick review. Uh, it has only one question. If there were more uh, questions, then we will have uh, the option or the possibility to switch to, with, to each question by clicking uh, in this uh, panel here. So, which command displays only the, fir uh, the first five lines of the file file? Uh, le let's say that I click this one. Check. Your, your answer is uh, incorrect. Uh, the correct answer is uh, this one. Uh, finish attempt. Let's go again to the questions. And... Uh, now I uh, I can try to add some more uh, questions manually, but uh, actually I'm going to try uh, another option. I will export some questions from uh, another course, and I will import them in the question bank of of this course, and then I will add questions from uh, from question bank in, in this uh, in this quiz. So this is a, another course. Let me uh, stop the. So this is the course uh, Linux command. I'm going to the third uh, quit, or the third test, and here I go to the question bank. 
in the meantime, in the meantime, I have checked um, the learning platform I'm using, and it does not include the quiz option. Is the quiz, let's say, a separate option? Is this an additional plugin, or is it part of a part of a software package? Uh, I think that uh, quiz is the standard feature of uh, Moodle, so it is uh, installed installed by default. So. Uh, when you install Moodle, uh, among the other uh, plugins or uh, modules that it installs, uh, it's uh, the quiz uh, as well. Okay. But, uh, maybe I've installed some uh, other plugins, uh, for example, offline quiz, and maybe, uh, I don't think so, but may maybe it messes uh, something, or may maybe it has to do some processing. And yeah. it, it, it takes some time. I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe maybe it comes maybe in, in, in my learning the learning platform I use um is set up in a certain way. And maybe a certain maybe the quiz functionality comes with a different name. Because um on what I see here on the test system, I see it's called um <clears throat> it's called just test. Maybe, maybe this is the quiz option. Um, how do you how do you enable the quiz? Maybe you can show this again. Maybe we can kind of figure out we can figure out if we speak about the same thing. Maybe it just has a different name on my just on my on my system. Yes, uh, it, it would be really interesting. Interesting because I would like to I would like to add this to one of my courses to see how it works. It would be really interesting. Yes. Uh, I think that my server is a bit overloaded because uh, right now, or no, let me stop it. Go. Uh, I, I can try to restart. No, wait, wait a sec. You just, you just. Okay, click okay, on. okay. Yeah. So, uh, in, in this uh, topic, uh, I've added this quiz. Uh, let's add a second yeah. one, for example. Uh, I, uh, you, added, you, added an, you added an activity first. Is yes. this correct? Yeah, th this is the activity uh, uh, quiz. I added a quiz activity. So uh, I click this, this button, add an activity or resource, this one. And uh, yes. here are all the activities and resources. These are the resources, th these are the activities. Wait and, a sec. Uh, Wait a sec. Uh, then you have assignment. Then you have, yes, you have way more than I have. You have workshop, for example. You have wiki. Um, you have quiz. I don't have. I don't have quiz. I have. What I have here is uh, activities. Um, uh, let's. Is it a model? Uh, is it a yes, model? Yes. 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 If you want, I can. I can share a screen with you if you want. Uh, yeah, you, you can try it. Uh, let me uh, make you a presenter. Okay, uh, I think you, you can share your screen now. Uh, there should, okay. there should be a, yes. a button, okay. Press the window. Da, 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 da. Now I've got this. This is way more easier for me. So now you can see what I see. Yeah, these are the activities yes. I have here. You see? It's, it's, uh, it's in German, yeah? So I see yes, yes, yes. where you can, you can do a voting, you can add a task, you can add a chat, feedback, forum, glossary, H5P, interactive content, class no quiz. Okay. Yeah. But where, I, I can't see it this. Yeah, I have the impression The only that... thing I see is, is, is test. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe the test is the uh, the quiz. Uh, cl click at the information at the eye. Yeah, uh, it, it is called test in German, maybe. Ah, okay. Yes, it has the same content. Yes, oh, ooh, yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, I, I, that's yeah, interesting. I think, it, yeah. yeah, it is a standard feature. Evaluation, order of questions, question behavior, validation. Oh, yes, okay, so it's when it's called test. Okay. Interesting, interesting. This is cool. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to I'm going to stop my screen. Okay. And I, give it back I, to you. Now now I understand 
this is very helpful because now I can add this to, to my courses as a yes. test. Cool, cool. Yoo-hoo. Thank you very much. So uh, I don't know what, what is the problem. Probably my server is a bit overloaded uh, and it takes some resources. Uh, but so if I want to, to add another quiz, I will click this uh, one here and then uh, yeah, the, the icon may be a little bit different because the theme uh, might be different from uh, your Moodle installation and mine. So you have a different icon. Yes, I think so. I think so. Mine one, I think mine one was um, specially prepared for the training company. And I think your one is the default one, right? Yes, it, yes it's, it's the field, uh, default one. And I'm using the, the class theme. Uh, it is a uh, little like, like this. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Maybe you are using a different theme. Yes, I think it's it's especially adapted to the trading company. Yes. Okay, but I'm very happy that you figured this out. It's you. -hoo. I hope my I hope my students like it. Yeah, uh, and I think that the question bank is a very powerful feature of uh, quizzes uh, uh, in Moodle, uh, and it's a pity that it is not working right now. Uh, Maybe. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it needs a special setup or something or yeah, uh, connection, whatever. I don't no know. problem. Yeah. No problem. And you you can you can export all the questions from a question bank, and mm -hmm. uh, then you can import them uh, in another uh, course, for example, or even on another uh, Moodle installation. Uh, so. You export it uh, in your local machine as a text file, and then you can import all the questions uh, to uh, to another course. And then, uh, when we try to add uh, quest questions uh, in in Moodle, uh, so uh, when we try to add a new question in uh, this uh, quiz, uh, we can select, for example, uh, all the questions uh, from a question. Uh, from a, a category in a question bank, because a question bank can be uh, organized in categories and subcategories. Uh, oh, and, yes. Oh, uh, yes. This yes. is this is cool. This is cool. So I can prepare, let's uh, say, uh, a quiz with different categories, and then I can import all the questions from one category into a different course. Uh, not not in a different course, but. Uh, in in, in this quiz, for example, for example, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, yeah. add from from question bank. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it, it is showing the question bank right now. <laughs> so uh, I can select, for example, uh, you can filter. Uh, let Let me uh, try this one better. Uh, questions and uh, this is how uh, a quiz looks like so uh, there are lots of questions 20 questions and uh, a single page for each question and uh, let's say that uh, I want to add some more questions add from uh, question bank okay so this does not look English Okay, so uh, select a category. I've organized, uh, yeah, it, it is not English, it, it is uh, uh, in Albanian, prob probably. Yeah. Uh, okay, there, there are, here, here they are in English. So, uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, simple commands, combined commands, there are 61 questions in this category. Wow. Uh, there are 20 questions. So, let's say that uh, I want to add questions from this category. I select this. Uh, uh, category advanced uh, commands uh, from the question bank, and then uh, I now can select with which questions from this category I want to add to the quiz, or I can select all of them and say all uh, add all these questions to the to the quiz and selected questions to the quiz, and uh, now uh, what else?
there, there is another feature, for example, add uh, a random question. Uh, a random question, uh, again, we can select a category uh, from the question bank, and then it will select uh, one, uh, one question uh, randomly from this category. For example, if there are 50 questions uh, in this category, then each time that uh, this quiz is displayed, it will uh, show a, a random question from this uh, category. Uh, okay. Combine forms. I guess there are performance problems because this uh, category has 60 uh, questions. We have to we have to give the machine time to think. Uh, yes, but uh, I'm using my uh, VPS has eight uh, gigabyte uh, RAM, but I've also installed other applications as well, like uh, eight or nine other <laughs> applications, and it is a little bit overloaded, I think. Well, I think I think I understand what you would like to okay. show. You would like okay. to show that a random random question is chosen. Yes. So we we can add a random uh, a question that that is randomly selected from a category in question bank. And uh, whenever you try this uh, this quiz, it will show uh, a different question that is selected randomly. So. Well, we are supposing that all these questions are equivalent in terms of in terms of uh, evaluation, for example, or difficulty. They have the same difficulty, or some, something like this. Anyway, uh, let's, and in order to to back up the questions of a quiz, we we have to go to the question bank, but we are not able to to go there. So. Uh, let, let's try with this one because here the question bank is smaller. So how many? So how many questions? How many questions do you add to a quiz? How big are your quizzes? Twenty questions, fifty questions. What is it, the normal? What is the normal size? What which size? Which size worked well in your? In your quizzes, which which size? How many questions? It, uh, which experience it, it, do you have with that? Uh, it it depends on the uh, on the course and on the content that is being displayed displayed. And uh, some courses are more easy to uh, generate uh, or to find questions for them because it is also a kind of a problem that you have to. Uh, to create these questions, uh, and it, it is difficult to create a lot of questions sometimes. Uh, for the, for this course, that uh, uh, about Linux commands, mm -hmm. uh, there are, for example, for the first test, uh, there are. 55 questions, but uh, they are very simple questions, and uh, you just need uh, less than one minute or 30 seconds to answer is, uh, each question because they are very easy questions. Mm -hmm. So, okay. uh, and I to I searched in the internet for uh, different questions uh, from di different uh, quiz uh, quizzes. And uh, I got the questions from the internet, and I copied them here. But uh, if I, uh, if you see, for example, in the last test, uh, I couldn't find, uh, or this is before the last one. There is a fifth test as well. Uh, questions. There are just uh, twenty-five uh, questions because I couldn't find enough relevant uh, questions uh, for this uh, for the topics that I I was going. I was going to to test, and uh, the last one is even less. I think about twenty, uh, or it, it has just twelve uh, uh, questions. Mm -hmm. So uh, it depends also on the uh, ability to find relevant uh, questions for for testing the the content. 
I find I find it sometimes quite difficult to come up with the right questions. Yes, yes, the, that's a problem on, on itself. And uh, usually I search uh, in the internet to find uh, some re relevant qu quizzes and uh, copy questions from the from the internet. But yeah. uh, they are not always uh, enough relevant. So. Yes, I un I understand. And how how much time do you give? How much time? Do you give your students to answer the question? Do you have uh, fixed time or do uh, you have time per question? How do you how do you do that? Uh, usually, uh, I prefer to give them as much time as they want and as as much attempts as uh, as they want, uh, because uh, I think that uh, one of the aims of the quiz is also to reinforce the the knowledge that they have learned uh not ju not just to evaluate how much they know but also to inform uh, reinforce uh, their knowledge so if they attempt uh, the quiz the first time and they uh, uh don't don't answer uh enough questions they, they they can attempt it a second time a third time and so on and also the time is uh, limit unlimited so that uh, they can also research if they want to answer a question so uh, it's, uh, uh, I, I'm not a, a regular uh, teacher. I'm not teaching at a university. If I was teaching at a university, uh, probably the uh, the policy would be a little bit more restrictive or different. Mm -hmm. uh, this course that I'm showing, a Linux course, is just an online course that I ran last last year mm -hmm. uh, for the interested mm -hmm. people. So. Uh, it doesn't matter if the student does not uh, know the answer of this question. For example, let's uh, let's see what is this uh, question. Mm -hmm. it, it can be a difficult question. Uh, if foo equal to bar, which of these commands uh, print bar? So uh, if you know all this stuff, it's okay. You can answer immediately. If you don't know, then you can uh, look up at the resources and find the correct answer and uh, give the correct answer. That's fine for me because they will learn something even. So it, uh, I don't think this is uh, cheating. Uh, they are learning something if uh, they learn the correct answer. So in this case, the, the correct answer should be uh, this one. Uh, but not not many people know this kind of uh, details. Uh, are, you, are you sure? Uh, I, I didn't know uh, until I uh, read uh, a, a book about uh, the Linux commands, which had all these de details. So uh, I think you, uh, before reading this book, I have been using uh, Linux and Bash for uh, 15 or more years. And uh, I didn't know these details. I read this book, then I learned uh, all these kind of uh, small details. Uh, actually, it is not uh, a big deal because these are not frequently used. Okay, yeah, I would I would suggest I would su I would suggest it's the first. No, it's not the first one. Uh, the correct answer. Mm. The, the correct answer is uh, is, is uh, this one because uh, this one capitalizes only the first letter, and this one capitalizes the the whole word. I think. So uh, that's, in, that's one, interesting. That's interesting. Now I've learned something. <laughs> yes, uh, cool. this makes the first the first letter uh, lowercase. This one. This makes all the uh, all the letters lowercase. Uh huh. Okay. So this and, is a bash bash four, bash four feature. Sorry, it's a bash feature written with yeah, bash. Yeah, yeah, it, it is a bash uh, feature. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, let, let's check what is the correct answer. Yes, uh, this okay. is the correct answer in this case. But even if the student does not know uh, what is the correct answer, uh, I give unlimited time so that uh, okay. he can go and look up the resources and uh, find out what is the correct answer and give it. And by doing this, he learns, uh, he's learning something, I think. Okay. So the the aim of the quiz is also to uh, make students learn and not just to test their knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree in my too. case, yes, it, it depends on the kind of course that you are teaching. Yeah, my, my students, 
let's say at the end of the course, my, my students mostly do the LPI exam. Mm -hmm. And so they, they don't have unlimited time. They only have, I think, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, no, 90 minutes for 60 questions. Yeah. So, so I think it's quite helpful. I think this quiz option, I think is quite helpful. So I'm going to prepare in my course, I think I'm going to prepare uh, two test quizzes with unlimited time so mm -hmm. that friend can friend, friend try. And then I think it would be quite helpful also to create a quiz with, um, let's say, for, for 90 minutes. So that it's like a real, that's like a real LPIC training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going. I'm going to do that because this is. I didn't know that one can do this, and this is really, really, really helpful. I think it could could um, become a new feature of my of my course, so that they have a real exam situation, so that they can see how it feels like to to answer all these sixty questions under time pressure. So they so that they can have a have a first try, and they know oh this is how the of uh, um, how the exam goes. It's very helpful for this feature. Yeah. Thank you for sharing this. Uh, Frank, do you know how to backup a course in uh, Moodle? Because uh, the, last, the last feature that we are going to talk about is uh, how to backup a course. Uh, I did not look into that okay. yet. But I'm, so, I'm, open. I'm open to learn about it. Okay, so... Uh, here we are at the at the course, and mm -hmm. uh, here are the settings, participants, grades, and more. Here at more, there is a uh, where is it? 